So welcome to the video we've all been waiting for, the most requested video of all time, and that is testing the cheapest drill on Amazon, but we're not gonna stop with that. We're also going to test the second cheapest. Here are <laughs> the bells of the ball. We've got at the number one spot at $26, the, what is it? The high spec, high specifications, I guess is that's what that stands for. We could expect some very tight tolerances and superior performance from that one, I'm sure. And then we go back to the very beginning, the Genesis model at coming in at $32. So. <laughs> I checked, checked on Amazon, these currently, or when I had purchased or ordered these last week, these at that current time were uh, at the bottom of the barrel. So the question needs to be asked, can you get a decent drill for 26, let's say under right around the 30, 20 to $30 range? Today we're gonna find out. We're gonna do a series of three tests. First, we'll do a drilling test. We'll put them to their paces. We'll do a drop test, and then we'll go head to head and we'll run them until one of them dies. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what, what happens here. Okay, so let's just do a very quick overview here. So what we have is an 18 volt, uh, kind of old school technology battery. Everything feels, well, not great. <laughs> a lot of burrs and they're not very good fit and finish. Not, not great ergonomic, but not bad actually. I mean, this, this feels better than some of the lower end like Ryobi's that I've picked up before. It's not, not too bad. Forward reverse, it's got a clutch. Does the clutch work? One, yeah, clutch works. Doesn't sound great. If we go up to our top one, it doesn't go to 11, it only goes to nine. Well, pretty, pretty torquey there. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad. Just a standard plastic chuck. So no, no frills. It does have a few nice features though. Look at that. Dual, I'm saying dual bit holders. I don't know about that. That is nice. You don't see that on your Milwaukee DeWalt Makita. All right, so that's basically it. There's not a whole, lot. there's one thing I am interested about though. So usually drills will have a, uh, a clutch or a two speed function, right? On the top that you can run at a low RPM or high RPM. These both have these little like covers on there and I, well, curiosity killed the cat. I just have to know what, what is in there. What is, it's my knife. I can do whatever I want to with it. See, it's a bench made. So I guess that broke, by the way. I don't know why that was there. But so the Genesis, back to the beginning, the Genesis has one as well. Let's take a peek inside. What, what, is, what is that? Now this one seems to be a little harder. To... All right, so that one's not gonna come out. So we'll never know what's inside the Genesis, which is just as well. All right, the Genesis now is also packed with features, many more features including an 18 volt battery. So these are the same, but good grief. But check this out. So we're gonna borrow a bit. It's got a magnetic bit holder. How about that? Not a very good one though, is it? I wouldn't recommend using that if you wanna hold on to your bits. And is there, are there any, oh, look at this. I didn't even notice that it. it has a two position spirit level. I actually like that. I've got one of those on one of my old corded DeWalt drills and it allows you, it helps you to drill straight holes. It's actually kind of a functional tool right there to have that spirit level. I don't mind that. Forward and reverse, no clutch, or it does have a clutch as well. Does that work? Now this has a better sound than the high spec. Maybe the high spec is not as high. Well, this one goes to 15. It goes to 15. Well, that is pretty torquey there. I can't hold it at 15. Okay, so there is the overview of the two. Let's start with the drilling test. Things that both of these drills have only a quarter inch chuck, we will go with the biggest bit I have that will fit in there, and that'll be a one inch spade or paddle bit. Here we go. Let's start with the high spec, and we'll put the one inch paddle bit in. Oh, that, that, does not, uh, that is not a nice sound inside of that drill. All right, here we go. Now, 
that is not a good drill. That didn't, uh, it doesn't have enough power, even at 18 volts, it, will, it won't, I can't really make it go any further than that. That is, a, that's, that's actually very disappointing. That is not really, I, I'm afraid, very high specifications there. Let us move back to the Genesis. We'll go back to the origin of everything. Now that does have a whole lot better sound to it. And I didn't mention either that the Genesis actually comes with a pretty decent case. All right, let us begin. So I think it's pretty clear uh, which one is uh, coming out on top of the drilling test. That actually was not, that was not too bad. It has, if you listen, it has more of a precise sound. The gears sound better with this one. That one sounds terrible. It, there, it, I mean, it definitely feels different. What's the price difference in these two? We got 2632. I don't do math on camera, but that's a $6 difference and you get a case. Oh, there is really no question when it comes to drilling power, ergonomics, fit and finish and feel that the Genesis is a whole lot better for just a few dollars more. Let's see how they stack up.